with UT uh, TSU Extension. We want to welcome you here today. Actually, uh, what we're going to do in the coming months is we're going to do a little segment on here to try to present some uh, topics, some things we work with, some issues we work with, and maybe show you a little bit of demonstrations and those types of things. And so uh, uh, we're going to talk all, today, we're going to start with soil testing. Uh, you know, we get a lot of calls about plants and uh, you know, nutritional needs are very important. I mean, there, you know, there's insects, there's diseases, there's a lot of things that go on. But to help that plant to be able to fight off some of these things and these problems that we see, uh, you know, these plants need nutrition. And so that's what a soil test is all about. Uh, so real quick, go through the details on how you pull a test and uh, how you send that off and get those results. Uh, of course, we have the $100 soil probe that most folks probably wouldn't have. It's real handy when you're in farm fields and that type of thing. But you can take a 4 or $5 shovel or even a trowel and just take those items and pull a sample. We need to pull a sample about six inches deep. That's what we've done here uh, to show you, to demonstrate the uh, when we pull it with these professional tools, we get just a little old plug of soil. We'll pull several of those in the field or the area that we're trying to sample. We mix them in a bucket of some sort, and then when we send that off, it actually goes in a little box. We send off to the lab to have a cup of soil, but that cup has to represent the entire area that we're going to sample. But if you don't have the tool, there's some things you can use. One is just a cheap shovel. And what we recommend is that you take a sample about six inches deep. Obviously, we wouldn't send all of this soil off. What we want to do is basically just break out a little area of it, add it into our bucket, and we go back and put this in the hole. We go dig another hole. If we wanted to, for example, we're under this pretty dogwood tree. If we wanted to sample this dogwood tree, we would want to pull several samples scattered around the tree especially out to the trip line. That's the edge of the tree where most of our active roots are finding uh, nutrients. And so we want to sample around those areas. We would mix them in this bucket. And basically, we would just pull out a cup of soil and send it to our lab. In our paperwork here, we would identify the sample. For example, we're, if we were sampling for this tree, we would identify that on this form with some other information. The test does cost $15 but it will give you a good idea of the pH of your soil and the other nutrients that, that are needed. pH is very critical for soils. Most folks don't think about that. They think about, well, I'm gonna add fertilizer to a tree. I'm gonna put triple 10 or triple 15 or ammonium nitrate. And those are good, but the problem is if we don't know what the pH is, they may not be effective. And sometimes in Giles County, we get some soils that will be a little bit lower in pH and we have to correct that with lime. So when a soil test tells us the pH of that soil and the lab will make recommendations on the lime that's needed. And you can lime a spot this small. They've got pelletized lime, you buy a bag lime, uh, and it will tell you so many pounds to how many ever square feet. And so it makes it real good even for the homeowner because you can soil sample uh, garden spots, lawns, raised beds, a set of shrubs, whatever, one tree, as we're demonstrating here today. So uh, basically a soil sample will give you all of that information. They'll uh, send the report out. It'll tell you the pH, uh, if, if there's lime needed, what to put down. It'll also give recommendations for potassium and phosphorus, which are real critical for plant growth. And then there will be a basic recommendation for nitrogen. We can't really test nitrogen in the soil. So there's recommendations depending on the crop uh, that you're planting. It costs $15 for a sample, uh, but it's certainly well worth it. Uh, it will, like I said, will give you your pH and all the nutrients that you need. You may not need to put a 612-12 fertilizer out. You may only need ammonium nitrate. So it may save you a few dollars in the long run because you won't be putting on those inputs uh, that, that are not needed. Uh, but anyway, the, the test results will come back to you if you ever need help in interpreting those. Well, that's what we're here for. We can help interpret those results and uh, help you to uh, better manage your plants, your trees, your shrubs, or whatever it is that you want to sample. If you have any questions about soil sampling or anything else for that matter, you can contact us uh, at the UT TSU Extension Office. Our phone number is 363-3523, uh, and we're located at 132 South 2nd Street. You can drop by. We've got the soil boxes, the sample sheets. We've even got instructions on how to sample. We'll be glad to help you with any of that information.